Welcome back to part two of our P&O Cruises holiday vlog series. If you haven't watched part one, click the top right corner. And if you have, welcome back. We reconvene on my other non-broken camera. Let's go. Hello. It's been a while because RIP, my other camera, I was taking this picture of Sam and Stanley in the pool and I basically bent down and I had my camera around my neck and the camera went in the pool. Um, we've put it in some rice. This is the little... In the arms of the angels. Um, I can't put that so on here, but on my Instagram I had in the arms of the angels on it. Uh, so yeah, so we haven't had a camera, but luckily I remembered I bought my old camera with us, so I'm just going to have to be really, really hyper vigilant, hyper vigilant on the autofocus, because that is what the issue with this camera is, that is why I got a new camera, so I'm really sorry if it jumps in and out of focus at any point, not much I can do, but today has been a sea day, Stanley and I went to Baby Sensory, then um, we went to like the soft play area in the clubhouse. I watched an amazing talk about birthstones and royal gems and royal jewelry. Stanley's trying to climb out the pram. We came back here, Stanley sat for three hours while we sat in the conservatory and on the balcony. Um, and now we are gonna go and look around some other cabins. So lots of you have been asking me on Instagram to see an accessible cabin and to see an inside cabin. Um, so I'm gonna go and look at those now, so let's go. So I'm at 8327 first of all, which is an accessible cabin, tap your key and the automatic door opens. Then I put my key in there. So then you've got cool buttons on the wall here. Really, really spacious. Nice big double bed. Now next to both sides, I'll just show you one, next to both sides of, um, of the bed, you have cool buttons and light switches. You don't need to get out of bed to turn the lights on and off. Then in here, this is really cool. So inside the wardrobe, You've got all your coat hangers are on this, and then you can pull it out. I won't do it because I might break it, I don't want to break it. Um, but you can pull this out so that your clothes come closer to you. Then you've got the full length mirror. Then you've got um, safety deposit box, fridge. Then if you want to get into the bathroom, automatic door, come in, it's a full wet room. So we've got emergency cords, we've got a little seat in the shower, here. We've got a uh, white company toiletries, lovely shower that goes up in, like that is adjustable height. We've got towel rails all the way around, nice sink, um, grab rails the whole way around. And then if you want to get out, And then you come out. And then just one last thing, you've got these hooks that are at different heights. And then to get out of the cabin, automatic door, and away you go. Ah, oh, I am. Oh, look at this. Happy anniversary. And they're, take, they're taking it easy. Do not disturb. 4522, this is an sea view accessible cabin. Wow, this is spacious to say the least all the same features as the inside one but with the sea view cabins you have this lovely window seat amazing oh my god i love this <gasps> Oh my god, that's such a cute little window seat. God, I feel like I'm on an Instagram picture. So this is our room service banquet this evening. Uh, we've got the Mexican bento box, southern fried chicken, and the Asian bento box. <laughs> Stanley? This is Stanley's second time in Brady's. Did you just meet the captain? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Hello, excuse me, just inquisitive. Mr. Inquisitive. Look at this, Stanley. Who's that? Who's that? So we're back in Brodie's, not for football this time, but for a quiz. What is the quiz? The quiz is just a pre-dinner quiz. 
Who are we going to win? Pre-dinner, pre-show quiz. Oh, we're going to win. It's a little quiz to start off the night. Little piano quiz papers. We are ready. So annoyingly, this, this and this were all correct. So annoying. Her dad carrying the baby and the pram. <laughs> that is the uh, that is the pro of the yo-yo. Is that it's so light. Oh, right. That was at least thirty kilos. <laughs> but you can actually carry it up. This is what the corridors look like to get back to the cabin. But that is how, like this ship is huge, but that's how close proximity we are to the clubhouse. Literally, around the corner, up the stairs. Good morning! Oh! What's the burpy burpy? Mummy's trying to record. Uh, good morning. We are in St. Martin today and we are going on an excursion. We're going on a Caribbean rum and food tour. And um, this is our first like properly booked excursion and I'm really looking forward to it. It's a late start. It's a half past 11 start. So we're going to have a nice chilled morning. But yeah, really looking forward to it. We're taking Stanley with us. We didn't have to pay for him. But obviously he can come along for the ride. And hopefully his naps will work out that he'll be asleep for most of it. So then he can just sleep away while we, I think we get to like cook our own dinner and try lots of different rums and stuff. So yeah, really looking forward to it. So this is the upper dining room. I'm starving. Oh, yeah. It was all for the rum. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our cooking class. So then right after I got it wrong, she's gonna spike me when I get back in the kitchen. So forgive me, huh? So we, we're gonna have a red snapper today, all right? Snapper is a very nice fish, yeah? All right, everyone has the flour in. With their hand, with the glove, start to stir in the flour slowly. And with the opposite hand, take the small container with the yeast, the salt, and the baking powder. She in the crowd. Yeah, yeast. Oh, <laughs> 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 I guess I want to do. I want to do. One, two, one, two, one. Once Cecilia, we walk around. Half the water, stir the stir it. We are actually looking for a ball. You know, we don't be nervous, huh? If you want to play, don't be. We're looking for that nice, simple ball. Sam, how are you getting on? We're looking for the roundness and stuff like that. Very good. See you very much. I learned this trick in previous Caribbean tasting. It's not quite happy to find. That's my ball. So we use red onions, we do chives, we do nice fresh garlic. We're gonna see how the flavor is gonna come out of that. It's gonna be really, really different. Don't be nervous, you're doing well. You're doing well, you'll get a job with me. Don't cut your finger and then tell me I get you get cut Take your time, the knife is very sharp. Take your time, please. Okay. Do not get cut. I'm done. I'm going to have fun. <laughs> Place the onion in the bowl. Okay. You did that very well. Thank you. You gave a try another one. Okay. 
Huh? There's another red onion there already peeled for you, so you will not have that difficulty. He or she is right in here. And yep. beautiful, you're gonna do this, repeat the same eyes. thing. I'm gonna swap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that means you have good eyes. As long as the eyes are watering from the onions, that means you don't need, you have good eyes. Running eyes. Wonderful. Oh. So this is, guys, I say, has a lot of flavor. We do plum, you guys use rich red tomatoes, plum tomatoes, or if you wanna go extra, you can use heirloom tomatoes. Use it. We made lunch of rice and peas, slaw, red snapper, fisherman sauce, we made some johnny cakes and some fried greens. <laughs> so that was really fun, wasn't it? The food was amazing. And what did you do? You slept and then you tried some you tried some fish and you tried some plantain, you tried some uh, johnny cakes. We just um didn't try the rum. I had to drink Stanley's, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I had to drink Stanley's little rum, didn't I? Yeah. No. Biggest lagoon in the entire Caribbean that is located right here, 880 hectare in length. It's called the Simpson Bay Lagoon. So we're now at Topper's Rum and we're going to try 20 of these rums. <laughs> so we are about to try homemade pumpkin pie and eggnog rum. So this is eggnog or homemade pumpkin pie? Yeah. So we can pass them down. Eggnog. We don't mix them together, right? You can mix eggnog. it in. Ooh. Ooh, pumpkin smells pie. good. That was really good, that one. This is so good. This is like thank, Thanksgiving vibes. Eggnog. Yes, it's going to be dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Two and three. All for rum and rum for all. Honey, honey, have a martini glass with some whipped cream, then it will crush it out. Jalapeno lemon is the strongest one, all of our rubs are 35% of alcohol. Okay, so rum number one, cotton candy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, I'll Next up, dark chocolate. Okay. It's just so smooth. Like, it doesn't make you go. They're amazing. I love them. Homemade apple pie. That literally tastes like an apple pie. So, next up, we've got salted caramel. Didn't love that one. Didn't love that one as much. I wanted peppermint stick. So nice. So nice. Sam, tell us about today. A brilliant time. We ate local food, we drank local rum. Um, literally they were like little thimbles, but they were brilliant. I would say that's actually one of the best excursions I've ever, ever done. Um, the food was unreal, and uh, was unreal. Amy did a splendid job chopping the onions. I did. She cried there, didn't uh, you? I cried. Um, but yeah, I would 100% recommend that. So that is the P&O um, Cruises Shore Excursion, which is the Caribbean rum and food tasting tour, and we absolutely loved it. It's probably one of the more expensive excursions, but one of the best I've ever done, ever. So tonight we're in Green and Co. We're in the Mitsuano, which is the sushi restaurant. Hello. Hello, little man. So this is. What's he gonna go for? This is the menu. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. So this is the maki platter. But um, this is truffle brushed Highland salmon, um, avocado, and flying fish wasabi carrot. Uh, and flying fish wasabi caviar uramaki. And this is yellow fin tuna and spring onion maki. And Stanley's got mash and gravy. More my food than his. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this sushi is like a party in my mouth. I think this is my favourite food on the ship. Hands yes, down. Unreal. unreal. We're only on the first bit. Like we've got, we've got more to come. It's really fresh and that is because this lovely lady here is making it all fresh. It's not like it's all just in fridges. It comes out fresh. 
Even Stanley wants a piece of the action. Stanley, do you want some sushi? Say again. Say Stanley, so curious about all food. I don't think wasabi though is going to be your thing, little man. No, sorry little man, no sushi for you. Um, next up we've got uh, spiced yellowfin tuna and cucumber with crispy fried shallots. And then finally, excuse me. Da, 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 da. Are you going to tell the people about the sushi? Say mama. Uh, we've got some yellowfin tuna sashimi and some salmon sashimi and then we ordered some extra of the um, truck full one because it was amazing. 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 Sam, why are you wearing a sporty outfit down to get your... Uh, Coffee? Yeah. So it looks like I've just been going boof, boof in the gym. I've bought like five lots of gym gear and haven't used any. And you're getting drunk, milk drunk. And then, oh, we, got, at... and then we got this little cheeky boy. Danny, you get a milk drunk boy. You get a milk drunk. I'm about to put on Cher and Osman's superstition, uh, right? <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you love it? <laughs> so today we are in Antigua. We've come to Catherine's Cafe up on Pigeon. Pigeon Point Beach. Always hungry, but particularly hungry right now. <laughs> Sunny fell asleep in the car. Check the, focus. the focus is fine. I just got to double check these things. Starting with the hen's egg. Should we give Sunny a little bit of prawn? Not prawn, I'm going to go into lobster arancini. This is, lo this is lobster arancini. Just a bit of realness for the vlog. Uh, we're enjoying a lovely lunch. You've seen the food, it's beautiful. Sally then did an exorcist style projectile vomit everywhere. We've had to shower him down. I've had to shower the pram down, uh, that's currently drying in the sun. Uh, yeah, so just a bit of realness for the vlog. Where's that one? That one. Mm -hmm. Good evening, it's been quite a stressful evening. We've had to wash the pram, get it dry, but now we're going to meet our friends for the quiz and then we're gonna to go to the Keelan Cow. So let's go. Tonight we're at the Keelan Cow, uh, which is a steak restaurant we went to the other day for lunch. Um, we're having the tomahawk to share, which I'm so excited about. We love sharing steak. A very, very nice bottle of wine. So when I was in the Bordeaux region, <laughs> this is our sharing steak and it comes with chips, lettuce wedge, uh, tomato, mushrooms, garlic. That is the end of our day in Antigua. I am uh, whispering because Stanley is asleep and we've come to it a little bit earlier. There was a 1970s disco and I'm so glad I didn't get to go, but it's been a really long day. It was so hot today. I think that's just taken it out of us. Obviously we had the projectile vomit as well. So um, having a nice early night, ready for a sea day tomorrow. Good evening, we've been a bit MIA today because it's been a sea day. Um, Stanley's been a little bit just like wanting to chill in the room. We had a massage, which was lovely. Um, and now we are off because it's formal night. So I've got this lovely black velvet backless dress on. Oh, like a leg of lamb. Um, and so <laughs> Sam's got his- uh, Remarkably similar outfit to the other night. Yep. And Stan He's got a little bow tie on. He's got a little shirt. Titi. Titi.
Good morning from St Kitts. There is literally no breeze, no wind. It is so hot, but it's so nice. The rest of the group um, went out rum tasting this morning, but because obviously we've got the baby, we thought like, oh, he's already sat through a rum blending class, like we won't take him there, we'll just go for lunch. But it is so hot that we've decided that Stanley and Sam are gonna stay on the ship and I am gonna go for lunch. Mum's on the loose. I feel like it's gonna be, you know, like a married at first sight when they turn up at the dinner party on their own and everyone's like, <gasps> and they're like, it's fine, they're just ill. It's gonna be like that. So we're here at Spice Mill. Ready to have some lovely lunch. So we're having, we've got Cornish printers, Turkish salad. So back in the car now, um, had a lovely little swim in the sea, took chill time, but we're gonna go back and see little man. Um, so we'll see you back on the ship. Oh, okay, we're back. It was on black and white when I turned the camera on. Um, I am riding solo. Stanley's still not well. Um, so, we, I'm riding solo on my way to the beach house and I'm gonna get Sam some dinner and bring it back. I obviously did offer to stay in and he said no. Um, so yeah, I'm just here on my own. I'm gonna sit with Michelle. Um, but the beach house is like, it's in the Horizon Buffet but it's like a nice beach, like Caribbean style food. So this is the and the... Right, so this is the menu, this is shivy. That is also shivy. Got, you can pause to read it. So let me know in the comments what you would choose and I will show you what we've chosen when it comes. So I've got a tail of Barbados, which is a cocktail with lots of different rums, pineapple juice, guava juice. It's nice, it's nice. So we've got some beef patties, we've got some nachos, we've got some saltfish fritters and some watermelon and cucumber. So this is the jerk chicken. This is the Creole squash. That's lovely. This Thank is the mahi mahi burger. This is Michelle's off menu prawn curry. <laughs> yes, lovely. We've got this dark chocolate and ginger mousse. Mm -hmm. Seventy-four percent, I believe. This is like a pina colada dessert. So this is pineapple um, and some ice cream. Basically, the gist is if you put it in a blender, then you end up with a nice pina colada. Hello. Um, this could end up being in black and white because. I pressed the wrong button on my camera and now everything's in black and white, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, the beach house was, oh wait, sorry, I'm taking my makeup off while I'm chatting. Uh, the beach house was amazing. I'd say my favorite foods were, I loved the salt fish, the salt fish fritters, um, and I loved the jerk chicken, um, and the pudding, the pineapple pudding was amazing. And obviously to be there with Chivy, who designed the whole menu was, absolutely amazing um obviously nice to come back to sam and stanley uh, hopefully they're feeling a bit better now um tomorrow we were supposed to be going to the zoo in martinique but um because they're not feeling great by the way you're just on the shelf which is what these two like little things are like little bars this is like auntie um so we we're supposed to be going to martinique to the zoo but sam and stanley aren't feeling well enough so we've cancelled that so i will see you in the morning So today I have got a top on. Uh, we are in St. Lucia. <laughs> now I used to come here loads and never ever leave the hotel. So already we've been on a catamaran cruise, we saw the pitons, which you've just seen. Um, and now we're at Hotel Chocolat, like the brand, like the shop in Brighton, but except it's the actual plantation where they make it. And we're gonna go for lunch. It is so beautiful here. So, Got the pitons in the background. What a beautiful Just look! It's amazing. So basically, everything has cacao in it. 
So all the cocktails are made in the velvetizer. Like how amazing is that? Carbo nib and carrots. So, to the very top, we have 72% rubble estate chocolate and balsamic vinegar dressing. The center is chocolate and carbonic butter, and the end is a carbonic pesto, which contains all different types of nuts. Wow. So, if you have any nut allergy, you stay away from this one. Enjoy. So, first of all, I'm going to try the pesto. Amazing. Amazing. I'm taking a different piece of bread because we don't double dip. The balsamic vinegar one. Mm. So good. Let me tell you about it. All began. So this is my yellowfin tuna tartare. So I have got a mint velvet dream. So basically they make the cocktails in the velvetizer. Um, so it's got salted caramel vodka and mint vodka in it. Amazing. It's a bit like a minty mudslide, just partial. Okay, so this is the beef fillet. You can see we've got the cow nibs. Amazing. We've got hand cut fries, plantain chips, and like a chocolate sauce. So this is the magnificent piton which is made out of meringue amazing okay so let me put up your magnificent piton okay so here we have the chocolate umbrella it's like a chocolate soup bananas oh wow i thought it was just it well. yeah <laughs> This is so inspired by the mountain. <laughs> There's a piece on here. Yeah. So I'm going to put in some rum to do your flam. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Careful. Wow. Hello and welcome to disembarkation day very sad very very sad and um, i hope you've enjoyed the second vlog it's probably been a little bit more chaotic and bitty than the first one the first week we were so like go 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 and then obviously my camera broke i'd sort of made peace with going home today but then i woke up to this view um i love how rough i look i look how on day one on vlog one i was like i'm gonna wear full hair and makeup every day so that i look nice in the vlog but here we are. Um, so we put our cases out last night. So they'll be taken off the ship for us um, and left on the quayside for us to pick up. And then we are flying home with the British Airways. Um, and then, yeah, so we're gonna go for lunch at Local & Co. And then it's time to go home. Sad times until next year. We've come to Local & Co for lunch. Had the best lunch. I forgot to film it. The baby's climbing all over me. Um, so I'm probably going to end this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to follow along because we've got Vlogmas starting next Sunday. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.